now. NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Now, the tree has to be of the natural variety. <laughs> yes. No plastic, no decorations, no nothing. I want to go to that. That's a cool event. Uh, the one up in uh, the yeah. islands. Yeah, the yeah. big bonfire coming up. Hopefully the ice is in good shape because oh, yeah. right now it's not. <laughs> in fact, we've got a confused cardinal. You see it right there, Waterville, Vermont. Where is the snow? Where's the cold? Nice picture from Drew Bressel there. But if we switch gears here, this is more of the ice. From last night in northern New York, that's where most of it was. George sent in this picture from High Falls. That's on his property there in the Burke and Chattagay area. Another shot here, the tree leaning over. Who knows if it was bug infested or not, but the idea is that the ice weighed it down enough to sag like that. And then another Ariel Holmes sent this in from Burke, New York, of the icicles on the birdhouse there. Some spots getting over a quarter of an inch of ice. So the lights are now off of the tree on Church Street. Getting ready to take that down, 35 degrees with the clouds overhead in the Champlain Valley. There could be some patches of drizzle or freezing drizzle, but most of the rest of this night on the quiet side. And then we've got another round of rain and snow that comes in tomorrow. It's actually more on the snow side for a change as we go through Friday. Now the only real pocket of cold right now is up in northern Clinton County over towards Malone. Shazy is still at 30 degrees, but you go down to Waterbury, Vermont, 39. Brookfield, 29. That could be a little bit of an issue as you uh, travel down Interstate 89, but most of us are above 32, 41 even in Middlebury. So here comes future cast, a little bit of wetness out there tonight, and then a batch of snow tomorrow. It's mostly southeast of the Champlain Valley. So if I had to pick a handful of counties to key in on, I would say Wyndham, Windsor, and maybe into Rutland County, but as you get down towards Fairhaven and then over to Lake George, probably too warm for snow. So this is a wetter snow and it's only for a couple hours. Should be moving out by early afternoon tomorrow. I think a lot of paved roads will be okay, maybe slushy and then a little elevation. That's where things will be snow covered and slippery. Clouds for Saturday and then sun finally for Sunday. It looks like a beautiful Sunday. It's not very warm, but we've had enough of that. It's colder. It'll actually be close to where we should be for seasonable levels in early January on Sunday. So that'll be a nice day to enjoy. Here's the snow map for tomorrow. We'll zoom in in northern New York and pretty much say hello, but no snow for tomorrow at least. In northern Vermont, though, a dusting to two inches. So you see that there in the white shade. And then as we travel south a little bit, the blue color, the baby blue, is two to four inches. That includes... The Woodstock area, Killington, down through Ludlow and Okemo and Brattleboro. So it should be a pretty snow, the kind that really sticks to the trees, but not enough to cause outages like that nasty storm a few weeks ago. So 30s overnight, and then as we push along here, one more day close to 40 degrees. But we cool off for the weekend. Sunshine on Sunday, high pressure, just a gorgeous day. Finally, get some vitamin D and then up near 40 for Monday and Tuesday of next week. We are seeing signs of a very brief cold shot. It aligns with Thursday of next week, which is also the start of the FISU World University Games in Lake Placid. Stu, Alice. All right, Tyler. Thank